Jonathan, what is our second main topic? All right. Second main topic comes from Belted Earth 3, who writes, Hi, John and crew. I love watching the show and try to make it part of my daily routine. I just saw an article posted by Screen Rant that claimed that DC's Titans uh, and Doom Patrol are the late are the latest to get the axe at HBO Max. Is this all surprising to any of you, or is this all part of the greater DC reboot? And could we see them possibly return at a later date with the new slate of content we are set to get? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And uh, yeah, listen, the axe of Zaslav fears no man, nor does it have mercy for any man, including me. I love Doom Patrol. I, it, that was such... Now, Doom Patrol came out in the same kind of season, if you will, as two other similar yet vastly unique shows, The Boys and Umbrella Academy. And these three shows, for me, for a while, represented the best of superhero content on television. They were all, they all took the, the classic superhero tropes and genres and turned it on its ear in its own unique way for each and every one of them. Like Umbrella Academy is very different from The Boys. The Boys is very different from Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol is very different from Umbrella Academy and so on and so forth. Doom Patrol to me though, did the best job of taking HBO heavy adult drama issues and wrapping them in a cartoon network wrapper of bonkersness and utter ridiculousness while served on an adult plate. All right. It took the, the best of HBO adult themes, put it into a cartoon network bonkers wrapper and served it up on a very adult plate. And when I say adult, I mean like filthy, <laughs> they put it up on a real filthy plate, but but the funny thing is, is the bonkersness of it never compromised the incredible deep issues and drama. The, like the whole stuff with Larry throughout the thing, they, there were several major story arcs with Larry. He's the one wrapped up in the uh, in the mummy bandages there. Mm -hmm. Like everything from how he lost his family, uh, uh, about you know then stuff trying to deal with his father and and his and uh you know that sort of stuff and then robot and the finding out his daughter's grown up and then even cyborg which i thought at first was probably going to be the weakest character of the show he turns out to be fascinating it, it just all of them it's such great character work great dialogue great issues while wrapped in a show where a guy flexes the wrong muscle and an entire city instantly has an orgasm. That's the type of show that Doom Patrol And we're looking was. for, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of show Doom Patrol was. And, you know, I had a lot of people write to me because, you know, I am a supporter of the acts of Zaslav. I, I think the axing is necessary for the long-term health of, of WB. I really do. I think there's a lot of short-sighted people out there. So how does it feel, though, Campia, when it's your show mm -hmm. that gets the axe? You know what? I get it, and I'm okay with it. Look, the reality is no matter how much I loved this show, not a ton of people watched it. I mean, I didn't. I never would often come across like new people and stuff like that. I would get into conversations, you know what? And, and if whenever I brought up, you watch Doom Patrol, a lot of people would look at me like they didn't even know what I was talking about. Like, forget watch the show. A lot of people have never even heard of the show. And as season, Rob brings this up a lot. As seasons progress, actors' salaries get higher and higher and higher. They always, I mean, and that's understandable. They, they should. It's like, okay, well, we're more important to the show. Like, every year that passes and I'm on the show, I'm more important to the show. Salaries got to go up. And pretty soon you hit a tipping point where the expense of the show doesn't make sense to keep moving forward with it. Now, one of the things I should point out here is that understandably a lot of people who are fans of Doom Patrol, and by the way, another show got canceled, vastly inferior show called Titans, but Titans and Doom Patrol got canceled and, and Titans has its fan base and Doom Patrol has its fan base. So a lot of people who are fans of Doom Patrol and Titans, understandably got a little miffed to James Gunn, the, the head of DC, right? But James Gunn, we can go to my screen on this. James Gunn hopped on social media to let people know, because like, well, I'll read the bottom part first. 
Somebody wrote to James Gunn, uh, with Doom Patrol and Titans officially ending due to the new direction of James Gunn and Peter Safran, all the fans can say is good luck. It's a mighty big hill you have to climb to win the majority of fans over who enjoyed shows and movies. I'll be kicking my feet up and waiting. Now, James Gunn pointed something out here, which, again, I think it's understandable that people got upset at first, but he says, look, the decision, this is James Gunn speaking, the decision to end the series, both Titans and, and Doom Patrol, precedes us. But I certainly wish the best for the talented group of creators, actors, and the rest of the crew that produce both shows. Look, we had heard a while ago, and we talked about on the show a while ago, that we had heard rumblings. And this is going back months. We had heard rumblings that Doom Patrol was, this was the last season. They, they were going to be done. And it was sad and whatever, but we got it. So it's really not a surprise to hear James Gunn saying, look, the decision that Titans and Doom Patrol are ending, this is before we ever got here. And I think part of that was Warner Brothers Discovery maybe trying to clear the decks for whoever the new leaders of the new DC franchise and the DC properties was going to come in, that they could have as much of a clean slate as possible to build something up and, and what have you. But again, even if it had been James Gunn's decision, as a big fan of Doom Patrol, all I can say is this. Thank you for making this show. It, I can't believe anybody made this show. And if you watch Doom Patrol, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I still can't believe anybody actually read the treatment of this, heard the pitch, and said, yeah, let's finance that. Yeah, let's make that a show. I can't believe anybody actually did it. Oddly enough, same goes for Titans. And the same goes for Titans. Only more <laughs> the, understandably the inverse for of that. <laughs> Fuck Batman. Anyway, uh, I so for me at this point, as a fan, as a huge fan of the show, I'm just I'm just feeling grateful. Guys, you gave us seasons of a show that most networks never would have even touched, and it comes to an end. And I get it; doesn't have the viewership, doesn't have the legs. I get it. But you stuck with this show for a number of seasons, and I'll always, I'll probably every couple of years, I'll probably go back and do a rewatch of the show. That's how much I liked it. So, uh, kind of a bummer, but yeah, as a big fan, people say, "What do you got to say now, Campia?" Now the Doom Patrol's getting. I, all I can say is thank you. I just feel a sense of gratitude. Did, uh, every time these uh, shows come up, the only thing I could think about was one. I was disappointed when I heard it was canceled. Was the new Swamp Thing? Did you ever see it? Well, yeah, they canceled that show. Here's the here's the thing with Swamp and I Thing. actually liked it. Which they is... canceled the show after the first episode. Like I, 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 that is one that is a case study of horrible management and leadership. Look, the thing with with Swamp Thing was, if you had internally made the decision that look, we're not going to do any more of this show. Why would you hamstring the show? by making a public announcement after just the first episode came out. Wait until the season's <laughs> over. Because I'll tell you what, the reason I was really late, Ray, that's a great point you bring up. The reason I was really late to watching Swamp Thing was because the first episode came out, I didn't have a chance to watch it yet, and then I heard, oh, by the way, the show's been canceled. They're going to they're gonna air the rest of the episodes, but it's canceled. And I was like, well, I, uh... Okay. I watched it at your place too. That's you right. In Burbank. That's right. I was like, John, you need to watch this first episode. It's pretty good. And it is. And was, yeah. This only episode. It's pretty good. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it was. No, they played the whole season. Yeah, they played oh. the whole season. They aired the whole season. But it's like, I'll never understand that. Like with, but something like Doom Patrol, they gave it seasons and, and seasons but, of a show that I don't think anybody else would have had the testicular fortitude to make. So yeah, today I'm just feeling grateful. One last thing, uh, like Swamp Thing seemed like it would be effects heavy too, though. It could have been oh, an expensive sure. show. It could have been, but you know, when we watched it, I felt like they probably minimized the expense. I mean, it could have been a show that would get real expensive real, fa real fast, but I guess they just didn't like it. I, I don't know. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? My beloved Doom Patrol, some other people's beloved Titans has now been canceled uh, they had their runs though more runs than i would have thought either of those shows would have gotten what do you think about this and james gunn saying hey listen these decisions to cancel those those were made long before we even got here whatever you think about it jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts hey guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video manscaped 
Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code Campia for 20% off and free shipping. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. You also get the beard shampoo and conditioner. Because guys, you gotta remember that all of your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. Next, the kid has Manscaped's beard oil. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath. You then cap it off with the Beard Balm that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three special gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths.